So, I understand you've seen a good bit of our island. What do you think? It's kind of beautiful in its own way. That's refreshing. Most don't view it the same. I'm glad someone else can see it. This island, with all of its danger and beauty, predates you and I. The ecosystem isn't what it once was, but it has adapted, and it will continue to adapt, long after we're gone. What's important, really important in the long run, is understanding it, and then passing that knowledge along to those who will follow us. That sounds like a noble goal. Well, thank you. I wish more shared the sentiment. I should note that I'm not fully versed in human anatomy, but I'm your best chance of medical assistance should you require it. Since Dima has approved of you, I'm more than willing to offer help. I'd like to help you with your research. Oh, well, that's thoughtful of you. Hmm, okay. What can we have you do? There's a flower native to this island, a species of the genus Aster, that has survived remarkably well. It doesn't quite have the brilliance of color that I understand it once did, before, hmm, well, before the war. I'm personally rather fond of them, but lately have been investigating secondary chemical properties they possess. If you could bring me additional samples, it would speed up my research. I can offer you a meager amount of caps, if that makes the idea more appealing. I have some flowers for you. I'm sorry, is this a joke I'm not in on? If you do actually find any, I'll be happy to take them. got the all clear. So what's your story? I'm just taking a look around. Sure you are. Just of your own accord. No particular reason. Nothing to do with that Kasumi girl, right? That Kasumi's a good enough kid, I suppose. A little confused, maybe. But then, aren't we all? Not that anyone's asking, but I'll tell you. It all gets easier to deal with when you realize none of it matters. What you are, where you came from, let go of all that, and life gets simple. Yeah, that's so? Huh. Most of the chumps here act like I'm out of my gourd. Good to know someone else sees it my way. Anyway, lately I've taken to amusing myself with trading. Don't have much to work with, but I'm always happy to make a good deal. Let me know if you need something. I probably won't have it, but let me know anyway. I'll take a look, sure. Now we're talking. look like much from the outside, but it's all some of us have got. It certainly wasn't what I was expecting, but it means there's hope, right? That's a good attitude. Hope can get you through the worst of times. Believe me, I know. When I first escaped, I had no idea what to do with myself. I was so lost, so scared. But I heard rumors of Chase, and 
what she was doing, that she was bringing people to a safe place. A place just for us. And now here I am. For all it's worth. Well, I hope it's worth it. You and me both. I've just got to keep telling myself I'm better off here than dead. Talk? God. You try having somebody botch a mind wipe on you and see how it feels. Then get back to me, okay? What do you mean, mind wipe? Oh, for fuck's sake. You're a synth on the run. You go to someone, you get a new face, and they wipe your mind so the Institute can't find you. Only somebody screwed mine up. <laughs> Now just, please, leave me alone. So you're that new fellow from the Commonwealth. It's so wonderful to meet someone from back home. I'm afraid Kasumi doesn't seem to want to discuss it, but how are things there? Oh, that's so good to hear. I would like to see it again someday, once things settle down here. Acadia is all well and good, I suppose, but honestly, it does get a bit boring. You're safe here. That's what really matters. Mm, I suppose. One could do with a little excitement now and then, though. Don't you think? I'm sure I'll see you around. Do take care. You're new here too, huh? I mean, I haven't been here that 